you. Good morning. It's Friday, the 10th of June, 2022, and it's a beautiful, sunny day. It's about quarter past nine, and I'm in the shop, but I haven't opened up yet. Um, today, I woke up feeling refreshed and awake. So I got up about half six, so I'm kind of ahead of myself this morning because the last few weeks I wake up and I just feel like I want to just stay in bed. So here we are, I'm having a moan. <laughs> um, thanks for the birthday wishes yesterday. It wasn't my birthday, it was my husband's birthday. Mine's for a couple of months time, the big one. Um, so what will today bring who knows but i do know that i need to get the shop open get all these planters outside now i'm wishing i hadn't ordered more because they seem to have stopped selling and i have to keep lugging them in and out every day <laughs> but it's good exercise looking on the positive uh things i need to do today some paperwork interesting and then i think i'm gonna look for some things to list on etsy it's 20 to 10 and it's all done all the stuff's outside. I've hoovered the shop. Um, I just need where well, to take my shirt off. It got too warm. It's nearly not time where I can wear a dress in the shop. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it's about 20 to 10. So I'm early, aren't I? Don't normally open up till 10. So I'm going to try and get ahead of myself and get organised and get some paperwork and bits out of the way, I think. Everybody's left. Um, well, my middle son doesn't live here he went home last night my eldest son has just left to go off for a little break with some friends in north devon my daughter went out early this morning they're having a day out towards cornwall somewhere to make up for their non-holiday so it's just me and jenny in the house but she'll be asleep on the sofa she won't mind oh my husband's gone out he's got various loads of jobs to do out and about so he isn't home either but to be honest i think jenny will just sleep <laughs> she's make up for yesterday when she had too many people around I've got my paperwork done always hate doing it but it's done so that's i've not had a sale yet and it must be quarter to 11 not sold a single thing yet but a few people in but not many um i've just had the bloke to put up this for sale sign oh, god i'm supposed to you know with all the bank holidays and stuff it kind of put it off and then the other day they'd left a thing in my doorway. They'd obviously been and thought, oh, I can't get up there. Or didn't know where to put the sign. So we'd had another word with the agents this morning. I said, oh, we've had for sale signs up before. Oh, I'm not allowed to go up that high. Insurance won't cover it. I was like, well, it was there before. Yeah, no, I'm not allowed to, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh. So I pointed to another place and he said, oh yeah, I can put it there. And I've just gone out and he's put it even lower than when he said, where he said, but I can't be bothered to argue. So annoying. My positivity is draining. It's gone one o'clock and I have taken zero pounds. Barely seen a soul. My hair is shocking today. Don't know what's going on. It's just too long. Needs cutting. Oh uh, yeah, not a penny. 25 to 2, first sale of the day. 14 pounds. Got some making up to do, that's for sure. <laughs> On the plus side, my son popped home for his lunch and he went upstairs to let the dog out and made me a cup of tea. It's about quarter past three. And I had a hundred pound sale. Um, it was something that I'd paid 50 pounds for, so it was a 50 pound markup. So it's not like a huge profit margin, but it's certainly improved my day. And I've had a couple of other really small sales, so um, it's not, well, it's still not great, but it's not disastrous. I've got about eight listings on my Etsy and a couple on my website. I know that doesn't sound a lot, but I still do get people in and they interrupt you when you're doing stuff. So it's not quite the same as when you're at home, just listing. So I'm hoping that when I have no longer got a shop, that I'll be able to list a little bit faster. We'll see. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday the 11th of June now. I can't remember what I said in my vlog yesterday, but I sort of, it fizzled. 
it fizzled out a bit like the day really um beautiful from what i can see i'm not open my i have two like corner panes of glass and then a big square one and i've not opened the blinds yet should we have a look oh nice blue sky with some white fluffy clouds so it is about eight o'clock um i'm dressed i've even made the bed go me um i want to pack a parcel before work because otherwise it generally won't go out until tuesday and then um take jenny out i went for a, a walk last night on my own without the dog listening to my audiobook and then i thought oh i can look how many steps i've done on my phone obviously that's only if i've got my phone on me when i'm walking but i only did about six thousand something steps yesterday and that was with a little walk with jenny in the morning and a decent walk in the evening so i need to up my game don't i yeah and then what do we do oh we're still watching stranger things it's exciting on the edge of my seat um and then this weekend we haven't made plans yet do need to do some cleaning and tidying in the house so some of that will be coming going on over the weekend and maybe a car boot we'll see right i need to put something on just to brighten my face a bit and uh well let's get on with the day <laughs> to the post office um literally just got back from the post office and my phone ka and i had an etsy order so that'll have to wait till monday now um it's warm not necessarily in here but out there i'm gonna put a new wax melt on because some new fragrance i'm gonna go for oud i've not tried oud before so it's a new one on me this oud uh wax melt it's really filling the shop it's got quite a strong smell i don't really know i suppose oud is oud i don't know what it's like i can't really describe it to you very sort of rich yeah it's nice um when i was getting ready this morning i was looking for this necklace because i thought i'd like to wear it um these are made by a friend of mine in, in devon fused glass i've got a few on my website if you're interested different colors but i think there's about five or six left uh, what I was saying before I was interrupted is, and I came across my rings and I wore them loads last summer and I've not really worn them since. I think in the winter I wear gloves and stuff and they get in the way. So I dug those out again. I love this one. I'm in love with it all over again. It's like a new thing. I think I'm going crazy. I just had a customer in, asked to look at some compacts that I've got in the cabinet there. And then I thought, oh, I've got those other compacts that I were brought in the other day and I listed them on my website. Where did I, can you see that hair? It's really annoying me. Um, where did I put them? I can't for the life of me think where I've put them. I'm going mad. I might have to unlist them from my website while I look for them. <laughs> they were only here a few days ago. getting on it must be about worse i think i've had a steady flow of people in 
not spending loads of money, but a good lot of people and I've just spotted a really thick bit of dust. I need to get dusting. I just caught my eye as I was talking to you. Um, yeah, I've just had a couple in and she's blind. And the first time they ever came in, it made me really nervous because she sort of feels her way around the shop and he explains what everything is as they walk around the shop. But they've been in several times now and I'm used to it. So, um, but incredible. They've just gone off on their tandem tandem bicycle. I know, and she's blind. It's amazing, isn't it? I wouldn't even get on a tandem bike and I can see perfect. Well, not perfectly. Somebody brought these in. Shall we have a look? Okay, I tried this once already and I made the mistake of leaving my door open. <laughs> At least I get forewarning when the bell goes and people come in. Okay, so there's three. This, they are all these um, Danbury Mint Country Lines collection. This one is the Windmill line. I'm going to leave it in the box just because it's awkward to get out. Can you see there? That one. This one is called Little Mountaineer. I'm going to have to try and get them out of the polystyrene to photograph them, aren't I? They remind me of the, um, what are those houses called? Aren't they Danbury Mint as well? Um, something Cottages similar to that anyway. So I think, oops, they've got dates on. I wonder if I could put them on Etsy as vintage. Right, let's try and get this one open. This one's called The River Crossing. Oh wow. Okay, I'm not going to try and get it out of polystyrene, but look. It's even got a little sheep, look, little narrow boats. Isn't that cute? The detail is amazing. So I'm not sure whether to sell them and try and sell them in the shop or online or both. Not sure yet. How's your weekend going so far? Oh, four of those planters. Yay! <laughs> four less that I have to carry in and out every day, which is great news few more to go lady just come in she'd reserved them weeks ago it's a regular good customer do you remember those lovely pink and white laura ashley cups and saucers so she's just been in to pick those up she's very happy um any idea how i find out when these danbury mint things were made i can't really find out how old they are i'm sure they must be at least 20 years old look at the detail in these things look there's a little shepherd and stream and then on this one, somebody's standing in their doorway, look, and people on their boats. Look, a couple of people standing in that little field there. On this one, little man in his boat down here. And then up there, can you see? He's got his wheelbarrow there. That goes round. They're lovely. I've just sold one of my Thorin's um, Swiss made music boxes, which I had for ages and ages and had them tucked away and never, never really did much with them for some reason. <laughs> anyway, a lady came in specifically asked for music boxes. So I showed them to her. I had listed them on my Etsy and uh, website recently. And then, um, yeah, she bought one of them. It's really gorgeous. I'll stick a picture in if I can find one. But here is the other one. So this is the other one. Lovely varnished box. And you can see all the movement in there. Let's see if I can get it going because it's really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> you see that thing spinning around there. It's winding up again, but I don't want to wind it up because it's just going to be sat on the shelf. <laughs> I've been fairly busy today and it's about three o'clock and I can look up early on a Saturday. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you have a really good weekend love to hear what you're up to remember to give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already take care stay safe and i'll see you soon